boys and girls. How are you today? Happy Sunday. Welcome to your Sunday school. I know, I trust God that you are ready for your Sunday school today. God will bless every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. But before we go into our lesson, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for this beautiful day that we are going to learn of you. Jesus, please come to our meeting. Teach us by yourself. At the end of this lesson, God, we want to go home rejoicing. And at the end of our life, we want to see you in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 23. The title of our lesson today is The Baby in a Basket. Let us say it together. The Baby in a Basket. Our Bible text is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10, and Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. But we are going to read Exodus, chapter 2, verses 1 to 8. Our friends, Samuel and Darasimi, will be reading for us. Let us take out our Bibles and read along with them. God bless you. Exodus chapter 2 verse 1 to 4. 1. And there went a man of the house of Leva, and took to wife a daughter of Leva. 2. And the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. 3. And when she could not longer hide him, she took him for an ark of blushes and doorbed it with slime and with feet, and put the child therein, and she laid it in the flags by the river bank. For, and his sister stood far off to wait what would be done to him. Exodus chapter 2, verses 5 to 8. 5. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river, and her maidens walked along by the riverside. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. 6. And when she had opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the baby wept, and she had compassion on him, and said, this is one of the Hebrews' children. 7. Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to the uh, nurse of the Hebrew woman, that she may nurse the child for thee? 8. And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the maid went and called the child's mother. Thank you so much, Samuel and Darasimi. That was a very nice reading. God bless you both. Look up, boys and girls. What is this? Helmet. Oh, thank you so much. What do we use it for? We use it to cover our head when we be on bicycle. I have another thing here. What is this? Umbrella. Beautiful umbrella. Oh, that's beautiful. We can use it to protect ourselves as one of the protective item we have. I got another thing here. That is hand gloves. If we want to do any work that can dirty our hand, we wear them. But all this item that I showed you, they can only protect some part of our body. The helmet is just for our head. If anything happens to our hand or leg, the helmet cannot protect it. The same thing, the hand gloves, they are just for the hands. And the umbrella can only cover some part of our body. Sometimes when rain falls, it will st we still get wet. 
Today's lesson is about God's protection. And as we go into the lesson, we can see how God can protect anyone that believes and have faith in him. Let us watch this short video clip in order to understand this lesson better. Boys and girls, look at the eyes of a very bad king. He did not like the Israelites. Sometimes they tie them rope, ask them to carry heavy load, and even flog them. Look at that. That was very bad. And he was happy doing this and thought to himself, I'm going to do worse thing to them. I will punish them more. What can I do? He sent for his army. That right now, go to the town and every Hebrew women that will find their sons, throw their sons in the river. I'm happy to do that. I don't want them to multiply. But Moses' mother believed that her son will not be killed. She decided to hide her son so that nobody will kill her son. Unfortunately, after three months, she could no longer hide the baby. Look at the baby. Jokobeb decided to prepare a beautiful basket to keep baby Moses and she prayed and let the baby go and advised her daughter Miriam to look after the baby boy. That is the baby in the river. She believes that God will protect this baby. Miriam was looking after him. Perez's daughter came to swim in the river with Damage, and they noticed something on the river. She asked one of the maids to bring the basket. And, oh, this must be one of the Hebrew women's son, but I'm going to keep him for myself. He's so handsome, but I don't know who will help me to take care of this boy. Miriam came out. I know we are to get you a nurse to look after this baby. Can I go and do that for you? And Pharaoh's daughter said, that is a very good idea. Thank you so much. Find a nurse for me. And Miriam went home to bring her own mother as a nurse. Pharaoh's daughter said to Jacob, I will be paying you to take care of this baby for me. Miriam and Jacobe were so happy because baby Moses came back home with them and will be able to teach him the word of God. Boys and girls, we could see from the video clip that even though baby Moses was being thrown into the river, his mother, because she could no longer hide baby Moses but God protected Moses nothing evil happened to him and this brings us to our key statements which states that God is my protection God is my protection activity for this lesson Ages 2 to 5, family tree. Who are these people in Moses' family tree? Match the correct name with the person and write the number in the box on the tree. 1, father, 2, mother, 3, brother, 4, sister. Ages 6 to 8, is mother's faith. The six path pictures below show the story of baby Moses. Put them in the right order by writing the correct number in the email circles. That is the end of our lesson. Our next week lesson is lesson 7a titled A Special Lunch. Thank you very much for coming to Sunday School today. I hope you enjoyed it. We shall see you next week for another beautiful lesson.
God bless you. Bye. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Answer Class. Happy Sunday to you all. May the Lord come and bless us mightily today. Amen. We are studying lesson 82 and the title is Happy Hands. Shall, shall we all say that? Happy Hands. Our key verse, let's recite that together. After the count of two. One, two. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. Well done, boys and girls. That was a good one. We have few Bible portions to read this morning. You can see them on the wall, on the board, yeah? But we are going to read just few verses, the selected ones. Let's open to Exodus chapter 17. And I will start reading from verse 8. Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men, and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said unto him, and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hor went up to the top of the hill. And it came to pass, when Moses, had, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he led down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But, uh, verse 12, But Moses' hand was heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat there on, and Aaron and Hor stayed up his hand, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hand was steady until the going down of the sun. Let's stop there. Thank you. Boys and guests, I need to show you something. Can you see that? That's blue candle. This represents blue candle. Can you see that? white and this represent pink candle and we have this one look a bit yeah can you see yellowish so all this candle represent different people from different part of the world so and there is no light in them and without light in them we cannot see any see them shining for this represent Boys in blue shirt, and this one represent girls in pink dress. And so let's try one of them and see what will happen. We want to put light in them, and let's see in it. Right, you, boys and girls, can you see that? You see the light is shining. That's it. So also. Boys and girls, we need Jesus, the light of the world, in our hearts so that we can shine for him. May he come into our heart today and so that we can shine like that light was shining. Amen. In our story lesson of today, we learned about Herrick, who was, who was very down, thinking that he was not doing anything special and it was not important in the house of God. Because of what his dad and mom and sister was doing, he was not doing the same thing. So he felt that it was not important. Not until the following day, when the pastor stood in the front of the congregation in the church and said that he wanted to say something about something, somebody very special today. And the person has invited about 50 of his friends, 50 of his friends. To Sunday school. Guess, boss, and guess who was this person? It was Eric. 
Harry did not know what he was doing was very important. So the pastor told him what he was doing was very important. And everybody shows that everybody have different jobs to do in the house of God. We have the choir, we have the orchards, we have the Sunday school teacher, we have our pastors, we have different people. Just like what we read in our Sunday school, in our Bible portion, where Aaron's uh, hall and Aaron was holding Moses' hand so that they can win the battle. When his hand goes down, they will, they will, they, they, the Amalek was winning. But when the hand is up, they will be, you know, the Israelites will be winning the battle. So this is what it is. Different people have different jobs. Moses stood there holding his hand. Joshua was fighting the battle and Aaron and Hor was holding Moses' hand. So we have different jobs and whatever job we are doing in the house of God is very important. We have cleaner as well. All these people using their happy hands, they are using the happy hands for the work of God to continue to grow. So may God help us today so that we can be as well use our hands to do the work of God, to work for God and let his work to grow. Amen. Boys and girls, remember the candles I showed to you earlier on. When there was no light in that little one, there was when I didn't put light on it, it could not shine. And until I lighten it up like this, yes, I lighten it up like this. That was the time it was shining, and we can see it shining up. Can you see it shining? So if you use this to a dark place, now you'll be able to see. But this one, when you take it to a dark place, you will not be able to see because there's no light. It's not useful. It's just like that. It's not useful. So I'm going to show you something as well. Now, can you see? This is a magnet. Yes. I'm going to do something. Can you see? Yes. Can you see? Have we seen something? Can you see? It's picking up. Yes. Can you see? Because the first one is connected to the source of power, he was able to pick this. And this is how we are. Our life is in the hand of God. When our heart, when we are connected, when we have the love of Jesus in our heart, Jesus, the light of the world, when he lives in us, we become a light to the world. And we will be able to draw people. Like the word of God that says, if he be lifted up, he will draw men unto him. So we will be able, we will be a happy hand. We will be able to invite our friends. Like in our story lesson, Eric was able to invite his friends to church. But before we are able to do this, we need to have Jesus, the light of the world in our hearts. The light of the world, the light of the world in our heart, so that we will be able to be a happy hand. The church of God can grow. And we will be able to help whichever way we can use our hand to play instrument for God, our violin, our trumpet, whatever it is, we find we'll be able to do it for the Lord. But first thing first, we need the love of Jesus in our heart. May God come and help us today. Amen. Now, boys and girls, let's look at these questions. Question one. How, are, how was Aaron and Hoss happy hand, happy hands important? To win the battle and how will our happy hands be important for the church of God to grow Aaron's and happy hand was important to win the battle because they were able to hold the hand of Moses or they had it up like this if not they wouldn't have been able to win the battle they could have lost the battle so may God help us and also we too we need to do our own part. When you are sick, we just uh, doing our different part. He will help the work of God to grow. Inviting your friend to church, play your instrument, do whatever you're supposed to do for God. He will help the work of God to grow. And question number two: How can we support our ministers? We can support them by praying for them. When we pray for them, God will continue to help them and lead them. And question number three, is there reward for, is 
the reward for one greater than all another? No, it's the same reward. The reward is heaven. Jesus has promised us that he will come and take us to heaven. Then we need to be saved. He will bless us on this side and take us to heaven at last. Remember our key statements. Boys and girls, the key statement says, I will use my hands to work for God. May God bless you all. Amen. Our activities for today's lesson is says say it with hands and it says do you know hands can talk when they do it is called sign language using the sign language chart filling the correct letter for each hand sign given in the verse below want an extra challenge Try using sign language to say another of your favorite Bible verses. Our next week lesson is lesson 83, title turned in. Let's put our hands together and pray. Father, Lord God, we thank you for today. Come and make us a happy hand for your work, O oh Lord, for your work to grow. As you help Moses' mother, as you help Moses, come and help us, O Lord Jesus. Help the primary power, help the answer class. Come and save our soul so that we can be useful for you. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.